explain what it is. It's a very simple concept. And some of you are on your laptops, and this is this is what I'm bringing up. It's the lack of focus and caring about what you're doing. It seems that Asian students, their parents, that they look ahead. I'm not saying your parents don't do this, but they see what they need to do to succeed. And one of the things is, is to focus and pay attention in class. That's one thing that they do. They're more disciplined. They're not smarter, necessarily. They're more disciplined. And that's what that's why the United States, I believe, part of the reason we've dropped. A generation ago, we were at the top of educated people in the We didn't have to compete with iPods, all the stuff you guys do, but you have a choice. And I have plenty of students who choose not to let those things interfere with their education. Just because you have it doesn't mean you have to allow it to be, you know, be the main thing that you're doing that day. So whose fault is it? <laughs> okay. The inventors or us? No, my point is that you need to be more disciplined. I, really, I am really disciplined. No. What even brought it up in the first place is you know the rule is you have the laptops closed when your bell rings. Okay? I shouldn't have to ask you. It's, it's getting, in fact, I want you to put them up here, both of them. Will, from now on, when you first come into class, you bring your, your netbook up here and you too, Wyatt. And anybody else is going to keep it, have it open when the bell rings. Come on. A key. <laughs> I will determine when you when we start what we're going to be doing. Part of my job, part of my job, believe it or not, is not just to teach Spanish, but to teach you how to be responsible. And I believe that if you were really ready to learn some Spanish, you would have come in here and you wouldn't have had your netbook open today. So that was kind of like the contradictory, kind of a sarcastic thing to say just now. But I get where you're coming from, Will. And Danielle, you, you know that I think you're wonderful. But when I'm reviewing, I need you to stop talking to Kayla. <laughs> Like it's, going too long. it's not just one thing. It happens every day we come in here. And you promised me when I put let you sit fire that you wouldn't do that. I, I'm just going back to talk about old promises broken. Just for a couple of minutes. How can you expect people not to talk to you? <laughs> I, you know, there's a time and place, Ryan. Did you not I've had students listen just for a little bit. They get it. They don't have to worry about it anymore. And then I have people who are always talking when I'm doing these explaining of these things, and they never get it. On the test, they miss every one of them because they just don't have a clue. Because it's hard? No. We need more rigor in our classrooms. And that rigor means that we need to be more, we need, actually things, I need to make things more difficult, I really do. But I'm simply going by the textbook that we have, and I think it's fairly normal for a class like this, because this is not an honors class, it's not an AP class or anything like that, it's just, you know, regular Spanish class. And a lot of you are doing really well. But I think you could actually, most of you, pass the test today, if you knew the vocab. But then you have Jerry Bear over here who comes in here and he thinks, ah, oh, and he starts panicking. Well, I'm going to study tonight and get a B on the test. Yeah. yeah. You usually do. Jerry Bear. <laughs> uh, but one thing, one thing you have to realize is that I'm the teacher. I determine what lesson we do, and I determine at what pace we go. Okay, I don't need any students telling me, I'm going to learn some Spanish. Because I want you to demonstrate that you want to learn some Spanish. You don't have to tell me. I want to see you quiet when the bell rings. I want to see you off of your netbooks, off of your cell phones, all of that stuff, and ready to learn something. Without me having to sit, tell you like you're in first grade or something. That's what I'm talking about, discipline. 
It's what's killing education in America, young people. You can sit and laugh about it if you want to, but it's the truth. Okay. The vocabulary on 8A, 